and delivering. This is the um, Village Project Kyle delivering to Midtown. So come on in, you guys. Thanks, Jerome. <laughs> so much. You guys, they come all the way four flights of stairs. And I got one more trip to go. All right. Town family, I thought I would show you what I do when I first get my bag. Okay, so the first thing I do, and I've already done it, is I take one of the wipes, which thank you to my best friend who went to Costco and bought me like mega, right? So I'm never out of sanitary. Stay, uh, sanitizing, disinfecting wipes. And it's lemon, hmm. So I wipe down the whole bag, y'all. This is what I do first. The handles especially, I wipe all that down. So I did that when I first got the bag and I do it in my hallway. That's the first thing that I do. Okay, now, once the bag is washed down really well, I know this is taking a lot, then I open up everything. And the first thing I do is look at the meat. So this is a, um, a pork loin roast, which is like a tenderloin, which is really a good the meat. It's really big. I'm thinking, and it doesn't say the weight on this, but this feels like this is about four, three to four pounds. So this can feed a family. So the first thing I do is I look at the expiration date. And you see here, it is, can you see it? It is six, there it is. Uh, it is 6-13-2020, so that's good. And this was actually frozen, but I, um, I, um, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator because I'm gonna cook it the same day, which is, well, the next day, which is today, so. And this is fully cooked pork patty. I'm really not really into so much of um, processed foods. Um, and then this expiration date looks like it was five something, a date that has passed. But because it's frozen, I feel pretty good. So um, the next thing I do at meat is look for, and it's here somewhere, here it is, is I look for the sodium. Whenever there's processed meat, I look for the sodium. So this one, sodium, I'm watching my sodium, 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 is 310. So that's 310 milligrams of sodium per patty. So if you're going to use this and make burgers out of it or whatever, I would recommend do not, do not add additional salt. I would add more flavor, because actually I did try one, so I could talk about it, um, and I made little tacos out of them, and I could have added more seasoning to it. Okay, so that's that, and I put it directly in the freezer. All right, and then iceberg lettuce. I will probably rinse this and I wrap it in a uh, napkin and put it in the refrigerator so it can stay nice and crispy. I like iceberg to make lettuce wraps, the, the best to make lettuce wraps, okay? And then we've got corn, looks like it's kind of old, but um, let's see. Oh, it's still good, yeah. So then we've got the potatoes, we've got um, oranges. We've got apples, we've got broccoli, apples, oh, onions, this is perfect, onions and carrots, and then we've got rice. So I think what I'm going to do with this, y'all, um, I'm going to boil the rice, I'm going to chop up a couple of these patties, put onions and garlic in it, and then last time we had these red peppers. So I'm gonna stuff red peppers, but I'll do that another day so you guys can have that recipe. But that's what I'll do with the rice. Use it to stuff our bell peppers that we got last week, all right? So now we're gonna go to the sink and I'm gonna show you how I wash everything before I put it away or before I get ready to roast it. I'm kinda anal about washing everything and that's okay because being an African American woman in this pandemic that I would be the first one susceptible. I have high blood pressure, borderline diabetic, so I'm really careful. So you do whatever your level of comfort is. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So the first thing I do is just do a spray. Next thing, 
I've got this nice brush. Now this brush I usually um, have a little bit of soap in it as you see, but I don't usually use the um, soap. So this is just water. And then I take each item and I brush it. And to save water, I'm not running the water as you see. I've got a little bit of water in here. Because when I roast my vegetables, I like keeping the skin on because of the nutrients are right in the skin. And then the oranges, I really scrub because I like using the zest. I like biting into it, you know, cutting it in slices and keeping the skin on. So I'm definitely, the pill on, I'm definitely always eating the outside. So, and it's porous, so it's really, I really spend a lot of time. Apples, these are so adorable. And I like this size because an apple a day, what does it do? What does it do, family? <laughs> keeps that doctor away, it keeps me on lockdown. <laughs> I can just shelter in and be happy. All right. And then, of course, the um, potatoes. And that usually has a lot of dirt. Not to mention just all the hands that touched it with gloves. You never know. I'm assuming these came from the food bank. And I know they're doing great work, but it's always good to be extra cautious. Right, y'all? Right, y'all? And it takes really no time. And literally, I've already got my oven preheated to 350 because I'm about to roast these. The onions, really, they can just be... <laughs> and then the corn I'm not really so concerned because I am going to take yeah yeah I think I might just cut these in quarters and roast them and cut that off yeah I'll roast them with the other vegetables I was going to grill them but because I have to cut part of it off um, and this I just have to, oh, I want, I'll just cut that top part off. The rest of this looks really good. One thing I noticed with our food bag, y'all, is that when you get them, you really need to prepare them and sort things out and take the ones that are expired or things that don't look too good the first day. So set time aside. I don't know if we're going to be getting these every Tuesday or if they'll start doing it every Wednesday so we can get all our bags at the same time. And then the broccoli. I love broccoli. And then we do one last rinse. I know you guys think this is a lot, but it's actually not. One last good rinse. Look at that. Beautiful. Now I can actually start cutting and getting ready to roast them. All right, I'll take you with me. This is the first day that you get your bag. Just take the time out. All right. See you later. <laughs> Got the um, the lettuce, which I do like rinsing it and then wrapping it in a towel and like taking that off, that first layer off. Maybe the second one. All right, and I just do a quick rinse. And then, of course, when I use each leaf, I individually wash the leaves, too, because this is just getting the exterior, right? Napkin, I don't do paper towels anymore. And I wrap it up. And I'm telling you all, this stays so fresh and crisp, right in your crisper. All right, so I did the lettuce. All right, I'll be back to chop up vegetables and start roasting. Okay, y'all. We can do this. We can do this. Out on our beautiful sunny deck. What a beautiful day today, y'all. At Midtown. Mmm, 
yummy, yummy in the tummy, tummy. Okay, we can do this. Broccoli, all of this was in our bag. Zucchini from last week. Um, corn from yesterday. Roasted with chili. Really good, y'all, really good. All right, full day. At Midtown, hi everybody. All right, y'all, we can do this. Fruits and vegetables, we're getting an abundance. Roast it right away and freeze it. Freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, don't panic. Okay, bye-bye, y'all. Bye, bye.